Hi there. Okay, so this is the last example we will look at factoring trinomials where the leading coefficient is not equal to 1. And just again, please remember to uh, take out the largest common factor from your uh, expression. Okay, so here we can definitely see immediately we can see 5 as a factor of them all. So we don't know if it's the largest one, but let's just start with 5. If I take out 5 as a common factor, it means every term gets divided by that 5. 5 goes into fifth. Uh, into 50 10 times so I've got 10x squared left plus in in here how many times into this well you can you can see by multiplying with uh, 2 and dividing with 10 so if this is multiplied with 2 we get what 29 so 29 okay x and then look multiply with 2 50 times 2 is 100 divided by 10 is 10 so that's how you do it multiply by 2 and divide by 10 it's simple so here we go there's the uh, the bracket on the trinomial that I have actually have to go factorize 29 is a prime number which means it doesn't have any other factors so uh, there's definitely nothing that can go into 10 and into 29 so at this point we know we've got a 5 we've got two brackets and what we need to do now is get the two brackets to multiply together to give that expression. Okay, so we are going to use our cross method. Okay, here's my here's my cross. Okay, the first one is either going to be one times ten or two times five. On the other side, it's also ten, but I'm going to write down all of them there. One times ten, two times five, five times two, or 10 times 1. I'm going to have to try all of these and let's start. And finally, my final answer when I add it together, and, and I add because it, it's a positive, these two signs have to be the same. So they must add together to give me 29. And since it, it's a positive sign, the two signs are the same, which means it's either a plus and a plus or a negative and a negative. But I must get 29, so it can't be negative, negative, then it should have been negative 29. So both have to be positive, okay? Add them together to get 29. Let's try this one. 1 and 10 gives me 10. 1 and 10 gives me 10. Added together does not give me 29, so 10 and 10 doesn't work. 1 and 5 gives me 5. 10 and 2 gives me 20. That gives me 25, not 29, okay. 1 and 2 gives me 2, okay. And one, 10 and 5 gives me 50. Now I'm 52, okay. That doesn't work either. Last one, 1 and 1 gives me 1. 10 and 10 gives me 100. That's 101. That's also not going to work, okay. So this one didn't work with, with any. How about 2 and 10? 2 and 10 gives me 20, 5 and 1 gives me 1, okay, that gives me 20, uh, sorry, 5 and 1 gives me 5, okay, so that gives me 25, not 29, okay, so this one didn't work with either one, 2 and 5 gives me 10, 2 and 5 gives me 10, okay, 10 and 10 does gives me 20, this one also doesn't work, okay, 2 and 2 gives me 4, and 5 and 5 gives me 25. 4 and 25 gives me 29. So there I go. I did get it. It's 5 and 2. Both of them have to be positive because I must get positive 4 and positive 25. So both positive. Okay, which means in the end, these are my answers 2x plus 5, 2x plus 5, as well as 5x plus 2. 5x plus 2. So again, 2, if I multiply these two, 2x and 5x, I get 10x squared. If I multiply the last two, I get 5, positive 5 and positive 2 gives me positive 10. Then if I multiply the, the inners, I get um, 5 times 5x is 25x. And the outers, when I multiply 2x times 2, I get 4x, so 25x plus 4x gives me the 29x, so it does work. This was just a test if you wanted to test yourself if you had enough time. 
you can do that. Thank you.